everyone. Welcome to Math is Fun. Our lesson for today is all about mental computation and finding the percentage of a number. I'm going to teach you how to find the percentage of a number mentally. We don't need to use the formula how to find the percentage. For example, 30% of 90. First is we're going to consult 0 and the percent sign of 30%. And we're going to cancel also 0 in 90. So, the next step is we're going to multiply 3 and 9. And it gives the answer of 27. Therefore, 30% of 90 is equal to 27. Another example, 40% of 120. First is we're going to omit 0 and the percent sign. And we're going to cancel 0 in 120. Then multiply 4 and 12. And it gives the answer of 48. So 40% 40 of 120 is equal to 48. Another example, 60% of 300. Okay, what is your answer? Alright, the answer is equal to 180. Omit 0 in the percent sign, then cancel 1 0 in 300. Multiply 6 and 30, and the answer is equal to 180. Another example, 20% of 150. What is your answer? Very good. The answer is equal to 30. Omit 0 in the percent sign, then cancel 0 in 150. Multiply 2 and 15, and it gives the answer of 30. It is all very easy, right? We have another set of examples. 40% of 25. In our previous examples, we cancelled two zeros in our factors. But in this example, we can cancel only one zero. Next step is we're going to multiply 4 times 25, and the answer is equal to 100. And this is the time that we're going to cancel one zero in our product. Therefore, 40% of 25 is equal to 10. Another example, 15% of 40. So we're going to cancel one zero, then multiply 15 and 4, the answer is equal to 60, then we're going to cancel 0 in 60, therefore 15% of 40 is equal to 6. Next example, 25% of 50. So we're going to cancel 1 0 in 50. Then just multiply 25 and 5 and it gives the answer of 125. Since we don't have 0 here, all we have to do is we're going to move the decimal point from the right going to the left one decimal place and the decimal point is in between 2 and 5. Therefore, 25% of 50 is equal to 12.5 or 12 and 5 tenths. Next example, 5% of 25. We don't have zeros here. All we have to do is we're going to multiply directly 5 and 25. So 5 times 25, the answer is equal to 125. Then we're going to move the decimal point two places going to the left. 1, 2. The decimal point is in between 1 and 2. Therefore, 5% of 25 is equal to 1 and 25 hundredths. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.